Welcome to Greg Hansen's Video Notebook brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. I'm Star Sports Editor Ryan Finley here with a tanned and rested Greg Hansen. Greg, he came back from vacation. Perfect timing. Pac-12 Media Day is on the horizon here, and let's go over our ballots. We'll start in this show with the Pac-12 North. Who wins the, the division, GH? I picked Oregon when I sent my media ballot in, with Stanford second. Mm -hmm. But what I liked was Cal third. I, I think Cal could be in the mix. Absolutely. Me and you, it's funny. We both sent our media ballots last week. Our ones and twos are flip-flopped. I like Stanford to win the division, Oregon to finish second. We both have Cal third, Washington State fourth, Washington fifth, and Oregon State sixth. I think that means that we're, we're smart here. Great minds thinking alike. I, I think we neither one of us has faith and Chris Peterson at Washington right now. No, not the way they've, they've played the last last year and, and really the last year of Steve Sarkeesian's tenure here. Let's talk about the one thing we do not agree on, though, Stanford versus Oregon. Uh, you have the Ducks winning the division. Why? I think Vernon Adams, when he gets all set to go from if, Eastern Washington. If he gets there, yes. He will be the player of the year in the league, I think. Really? Vernon Adams. Have you seen him? I have seen him. I have seen him. I'm curious. He, he flashes... So hot and bright, you know, as a good player. I wonder how he can hold up physically when you're playing good teams every week. Oregon won't need him to take a pounding. I mean, sure. they've got, they may have the best hellback in the league. Right. But uh, I saw Vernon Adams play against, of course, it was Washington and Oregon State in the last right. two years. He was the best player in the field then, I yep. thought. Yep, absolutely. Especially against Oregon State. He was uh, America's hero that day. Right. So I'm going off of that. Mm -hmm. um, he was just a dynamo. To me, what I like about Stanford to win the division, it's so boring, but then again, so is Stanford. Nobody in the league defends like they do. Nobody in the league is going to be able to stop the run like they do. Yes, they lose a lot of their defensive secondary. Blake Martinez's guys, though, I mean, if you can, stu if you can stuff the run in the Pac-12 North, that means that you're a real force against Oregon. It means that you're a real force mm -hmm. against Washington, which likes to run the ball. You know, Washington State, it's not going to help you. Oregon State, it will. Um, Stanford is a team that I think is older than most teams. Um, the pro-style system, I think, gives some sort of, you know, high-flying teams fits. I mean, we look at how they were able to stop Oregon, uh, you know, a couple times in the last three, four years. And to me, and they're well-coached. I mean, I think David Shaw does as good a job as anybody in the league. I buy that. They have a huge weakness in the secondary. Mm -hmm. All new guys. Yep. And in the Pac-12, that should be a problem. Right. But maybe they're, you never know if the guys stepping in are future, you know, star-level players. Absolutely. That'll do it for this episode of Greg Hansen's Video Notebook, brought to you by Sam Levitt's Furniture. For Greg Hansen, I like that we both like Cal, by the way. Yeah. This, this makes me Sunny. feel smart. I, I, I feel smart because me and you have almost identical ballots. That's yeah. good. I'm Ryan Finley. We'll see you next time. <laughs>